all right so welcome back again my name is jesse and in the in this wonderful and exciting tutorial we're trying to see how to read csv file so in the previous tutorial we saw how to read tst file right which was using two methods using iuutil and then using os.open to be able to read our file now let's see how to read csv file right using two different methods or several ways that we can use to read a csv file so i'm going to save create another file inside our location I'm going to call it that go reading. So in this uh, inside our basics folder, we are going to create another file. We're going to call it as go reading. Let's call it as CSV files, right? Not go, so that you can have it as as a reference. Then let's close this one off. So I'll save this one. The same approach we did is the same thing we'll be using to read our CSV file. So let's start from scratch. I'll come back again so that if you are starting, you can also know so package main to make it executable. We create our main function declaration it's going to be main which is going to be our entry point for whatever we'll be doing very simple i hope the audio is okay then we import in our packages to help us read csv file so the packages we'll be using to read csv file is as we have the encoding slash csv can be used to read csv file we also have packages like the normal io as i said you must always open the file before you pass it so io io util can also use that one to help you Open a file, right? We can also use the Almighty OS to help us read it. Then let's see the other packages we can also use. So the packages we can use to open a CSV file is we can also use data frame, the data frame package or Gota. Any of the data frame, so Gota can be used as well as data frames package. So let's see how to open these files first. Then we we'll see how to work with it. It has gone, but it is going to come. Don't worry. I'm going to open it. First one is is opening open the file right then second one you pass or you process it right that is always the rule so let's start so to open the file we can use os to help us with that so let's create a simple option to open our file so i'm going to call it as my file so csv file right then i'm arrow then i'm going to create using the warriors operator to create a variable called csv in an arrow we are unpacking into two different variables then I'm going to the OS dot open this particular file I want to read. So I want to read a file data inside my data folder. I have a file here. So let's check it out. Inside my file, I have my CSV file. Right? So I want to open this particular CSV file. So I come back and go with my CSV file. So it's going to be data dot CSV. Right. Perfect. That is how to open it. So we are going to use this one to open our file. Right. Perfect. That is, we have opened our file. Now, like always, we are going to say that if there is no error right so don't forget this one if no right if there's no error if there is no error do something right as you do something but if there's an error i want you to tell me that there is an error so log dot fatal then tell me that particular error right maybe it's couldn't open the file or something right very simple so that is how to work with this so we are opening the file right using OS to open a particular file. If there's an error, I want you to tell me that there's an error. Now let's do something with that file that you have opened. So there are several ways we can read it. So the simplest way is to use an external package. You can also use the long method, but let's use the, sing the simple method, right? So let's use the long method first, then use an external package. So this is going to be long method. So method one, right? This is going to be long method, right? Long. I call it long because it's long. Using the csv so right this is inbuilt library so we be using the encoding library so it's going to be this option encoding slash csv right so this is a package you'll be able to read it so this is a long method for me so it's going to be like this so i'm going to create a reader right and i'm going to use a csv package then i'm going to open it and then read it right so this is going to be used to process so new reader and i'll pass in my csv file perfect that is all right that is how to read it. You can also use buffer IO to help you with this. Then to be able to see the things within it, let's print out the things within it. So let's go to print so fmt dot print line. And let's try and see whether we can print this particular stuff that we have. Let's save it and let's print it out. So I'll come back again. So let's file. We're going to be go reading, go reading CSV files. Let's go. So you're opening the file and you're going to read it, right? You're trying to see how to read it. And you see that it's giving us false, false, all of this particular stuff, right? This is a pointer, like, as we already learned, 
pointer and receiver all of these things but we want the actual file itself right so how do we do that so we're just going to be looping through them to get the actual file so let's see how to do that my voice is changing so it's going to be like this we can just create a for loop like we did so for we can look through the entire stuff so for this option right you want to read it so let's say for record and an arrow creating a variable called record and arrow then I'm going to go to read arrow dot read right so you're going to actually read the file right now you are reading the file itself perfect then you're going to look through the end this is just looping through the ent entire stuff you're going to start if there's an error tell me there's an error if there's no error the same thing so you can just do the same thing i've been doing so if arrow is equal to io dot iof right right if there's a break or something because it's a csv file then i want you to break so be breaking it then break right that is the basic understanding right so we are going to be breaking here so break break it right else so if the arrow is also something else if the arrow is if there's no arrow this is the normal one we have been doing all the time so log dot fatal to tell us the particular type of arrow arrow that is all then we can just get whatever i want to read so be reading what you want to read so it's going to be fmt dot print line and i can just go with the record right so let's save it hopefully there's no mistake so we are, we are opening the file and then we are going to pass or process it using csv right from encoding and as you can see it has been imported here right encoding slash csv so let's read it again so run it so it has been able to read the entire stuff on it so it's it just numbers right dates and then we have some figures right very cool so this is the first method of reading a csv file so you just open the csv file using os.open then you write this long method then you pass it through csv reader interface to encode it right to pass it to process it then just use this particular option to read it right so this is in case you don't know the number of columns and rows there so let's try it with uh, the iris data set so i think i have the iris data set here so i'll change this one and go with the iris data set so that you see the difference so hopefully the iris data set is there so let me add it to it so i've added to the iris or the diamond data set can use any of them to read right so let's check with the iris so i save it the same thing and let's see it so i run it again it's going to read it perfectly for us right very nice so that is how to read it right very cool and very nice so in case i want a part only a particular column i'll just select the column i want like indexing so i just go with let's say i want the last one which is going to be uh, 0 1 2 3 4 so it's going to be let's say i want the third one third column if there is I'm going to only read the third column for us which is okay right this is okay let's read only the third column very cool so that is how to read csv file in go now let's see the second method so this is the first method right which is i which is the long method the second method is to use a different library to use a any of the data analysis libraries so we're trying to see how to work with it so one of the libraries we can use is the data frame library so let's try that one out so that's going to be method two two so method two is very simple it's going to be using let's come down here using a library right we are using a package a different package so there are several packages you can use you can use the gota gota you can also use kill frames can use data frames go all of these pack particular packages can be used to help us read a csv file right to pass them very well so all you need to do is just do the same thing we did you're going to open your file this is always constant you must always open the file so open the file then you process it this is where we change so let's change it right with the method 2 i'll come back again and then we, i'll show you how to work with it so be using that package so to download the package you can just come back to your browser and just go with package dev right you have package dev then this particular place so there are a lot of packages here so in package dev you can check for the pack right or, or go to dev any of them the same thing then i will just search for the package so the package i want is i want the gota package so if i search for it it's going to go to package.go.dev and then i can see so there's a package you can use this particular package to read it right so just copy this one here and add it to your repository so copy this i'll copy this one then i just come back again to my terminal just go with go get a pc there right, so there's another way of adding a particular package to your workspace it's going to be added to our workspace perfect now we can use it to work so i come back to my place and then let's paste the package so i'll come back here 
then I'll paste the name of the package here, which is this one, like the same thing. So I using data frame to help us read it. So we will just come down here in case I want to read my file. So let's go just my DF, right? Simple. Then I can just go with my data frame package dot read CSV, right? Very cool. Then I'll just pass in the CSV file and open. That is all. So this is very simple, right? It makes it very, very simple to read your file. Now I can just print out to so FMT dot print line. Can somebody point me to the error I have made? This is not how to declare variable. This is how to declare variable, right? So this is the worries operator and now it's going to work perfectly. So let's uncomment this one out. We are no more using this one. This is the second method. Now for the first method, you just open the file. Then you use any external package to help you read it, right? So let's read it out. I'll come back again. Run it and it's going to open the file for us. So it's giving us an error. Declaration. Yeah, so we, we declare the package, right? We are using data frame, but we there are two packages there. We have this one and this one. So you can either choose any of them, right? So let's use a simple example. So let's take off this one. So let's take off the current, right? Because the same thing, current and greater are the same. So let's save it and now we can read it, right? So let's run it again. It's going to read it perfectly for us. So it's so just giving our result in a very nice format, right? In the format of data frame. So that is how to read a CSV file in Go, right? So we have seen the first method. Rule number one, open the file using OS or IOUtil. Rule number two, pass the file. So you can also use IOUtil to also help you open the file, right? All of them are going to work. But uh, because most CSV files may be long and big, it's better to use this particular option. So thank you for watching this tutorial. In case you have any question or contribution, you can just put it in the comment section below. And please don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next session. Stay blessed.